My name is Phil Pearson. I was the Area 34 director this last, this current year that's coming up on the end. Now you've had a really great visit with the, with all your clubs. There were a dynamic interaction with the club officers. You built some rapport, and you really had a good time. That's done. Now we just got to get that report turned in, check the box, and no one will be the wiser. <laughs> That's what I thought. Don't be Phil. <laughs> because that, that, that report is actually used by our district and our clubs to make stronger clubs. The heart of Toastmasters is at the club. That's where we that's where we grow. That's we individually grow and organizationally we grow by a good healthy club. And the way we try to communicate what we need to do better to make healthier clubs, to make stronger Toastmasters, is one of those tools is the <coughs> direct area director's report. The area director is the first person of the state chain of command of Toastmasters that is interacting with the clubs and the club officers. And the first person, hopefully, the club officers go to outside of their club when they need help. But we can use the report to build that report and to also be a good way to exchange information. If you look in your book that came in your packet on page Tell me book it is. Oh, this is the Toastmasters International District Recognition Program book. Page 15. Page 15 is a paper copy of the area director's report. Which you have uh, in our It's in your packet, yes. It's also in our binder section. Oh, it's also in your binder. Oh, thank you. I didn't want to give the section two, correct? Yes. Okay, so there you go. I didn't get that far. Okay. So one of the two places, look at that. I would suggest, before you do anything else, as far as area visits, read through that report so you know what your questions you're going to be answering in the future. Don't be Phil. I did not do that. And so when I went to do my report, some of the questions were a little bit of a surprise, to be quite honest. The, the next thing I wanted to mention is, when I did my report, I honestly did say, think, okay, I checked the box. There are so many clubs in District 32. There are so many clubs in Toastmasters International. No one is going to read my report anyway. I'll do the best job I can. So I did my report, and I thought I did a pretty decent report, because I like to do good reports. That's what I do. And I fired off the submit button. The very next hour, I think, I got a note from Kyle Hall said, Phil, really great report. I appreciate it. Huh, that's interesting. He actually saw that I submitted a report. But that wasn't my first club, and that was an easy report because everything was going pretty well in that club. There weren't too many things that I had suggestions of. The next report was probably my hardest club. And I said, okay, well, I'll do the same thing. Check the box, click submit, and I'm done. Well, within an hour, I get another message from none other than Kyle Hall. said, Phil, great report. I saw in blocked, on whatever block number it was, you said the district should do such and such. How do you, what do you mean? <laughs> and how would you suggest we do that? <laughs> All of a sudden I thought, I don't know how I would do that. I just was giving you a suggestion. The district. You tell me. But no, it became a much more collaborative effort at that point on how we could help this club be successful. I thought what might be helpful in the last five minutes of my time here is to just go through the report and highlight and maybe get some feedback from everybody else on what has been helpful for them doing their reports. First thing, I said read the report. I would suggest also, before you do your official visit, send the report out to your club. A blank report. A blank report. A 
blank report. Even ask them to do a self-evaluation. Get their executive committee together, or their whole club, or some combination thereof, and go through the report and tell me what you are doing for, let's say, first impressions. And let them answer that question and give you some feedback. Not only will that give you some idea of what you might expect to see when you get there, but it will also cause them to start thinking about those moments of truth. Because the area director's report comes right out of the moments of truth book. All those categories come directly out of the moments of truth. I learned that as I went through the district, the, this whole process, but I found it was very helpful to sit down myself and go through that moment of truth book on my own. First impressions, when you're going to the club, now we're gonna, I'm gonna focus on what we're gonna tell the district or division that we need help with. What are some things that a district or a division leader, this division director might be able to help a club with in first impressions? I'll leave that open. What do you think? What are some of the things that a district, say that any a district or division can help with? Yes. We can let them know that the welcoming, encouraging environment created by just coming up to somebody and greeting somebody, introductions. Can we help you improve your introductions? Can we help you with any? literature from Toastmasters that may you may give to a guest as a first impression. Good, good suggestion, Mike. I, I would back up even farther and say, could I find the place where there was there good signage? And my favorite is, why is your banner inside the meeting room? Yeah. Put it in the hallway. Yeah. Put it out in front of the building somewhere where people can see that there's actually a meeting going on. Here's the feedback that I got in first impressions. I wrote, we should have a such and such, I think I was like, we should have this book that tells us how to do this task on introducing this subject. And lo and behold, I got a message back from somebody named Kyle Hall, again, that said, Bill, did you know that Toastmasters International already has that and it is found at this? And then I could provide that to the club. Those are, even if it's not, okay, we need to do something new, we might, we might find out something new that we can provide to the club that already exists. Hey Phil. Yes, sir. I want to, yeah, I don't want to make a comment. You see the you see the two last two boxes there? How can the club improve and how can the district help? In every section there's those two things. And from my point of view, reading a hundred of these reports, the most important boxes are the first impression up top, and then that how can the club improve and how can the district help in every section? Thank you very much. Excellent point. And, oh by the way area directors are part of the district. You are the first line of the district. You are a district officer. So when it says, what can the district and I do to help that, they didn't even have to say and I, because you are part of the district. Don't, you know, don't belittle your position. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So under what the uh, district can do, I think it's important as area directors you visit four to five clubs regularly, and you see great ideas, whether it's signage, whether it's that welcome person, that welcome table, um, the atmosphere in the room, share those. Share those ideas and those best practices. That is so important. This box right here. If I, something that just occurred to me that I didn't do, but I'm at the same uh, concept, is have an official or a semi-official thing that goes back to all the clubs at the end of the at, at the end of the reporting period is that shares those good ideas. Here's what Harbor Club does that's really good or has worked really well for them. <coughs> Will it work for you? Maybe, maybe not, but at least we share it amongst each other. Yes. One other one other thing you can do also if you have four or five clubs in your area is encourage a member from another club to go visit one of your other clubs and do an evaluation of how they're greeted, how they're welcomed. I've gone into clubs in, anybody from Seattle? I've gone into clubs <laughs> in Seattle. I walked in, 
not been welcomed, not been greeted, sat down at their table, sat through the entire meeting, everybody got up and left, I looked around, I'm like, okay, I guess I'll leave now too. And so it's very important that we get that feedback. So encourage your clubs to visit each other's clubs and provide that feedback. Thanks. I love the visiting other clubs idea. We we are in area 34 has some success in that, and where where we did get visitors between clubs, it has made a big difference. It has made a big difference. Let's move on to the next category of fellowship variety and that's the next. One. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, membership orientation. For me. The new member orientation is the second most important part of this report. And if it, it, I, I say the second because we're going to come up on the most important part, in my opinion, <coughs> in a couple more slides. But our new members, uh, how, how are they integrated into the club? How do they find out what it means to be a competent communicator? How do they get there? What's the path? What's the expectations for our club? for Harbor Club, for North Beach, for Commerce Communicators. What's the expectation for this club on, on these aspects of our, our club life? This is one area where it is imperative that you get, I think, that you get feedback ahead of time. Because almost for sure, you're not going to see a new member orientation when you do your club visit. There, that club visit, you're at a regular club meeting, they're going through their education program. New member orientation typically, if it's done well, is gonna happen outside of, the, outside of the regular club meeting. And it's unlikely that me as an area director is gonna have an opportunity to actually see that. And in our area, in area 34, of the five clubs in our area, four of them meet at lunch. That means they start exactly at 12.05 and they stop at exactly 12.55 because they gotta get from their place of employment and back to their place of employment and that's a very finite period of time. So I really suggest that you get some feedback from the club president, the club vice president of education especially, on how you integrate new members into your club. Sometimes they'll say we do this and we meet on the first Tuesday of the month and we do this kind of orientation and here's our presentation. And sometimes they might say, new member what? <laughs> what, what do you mean? And that is a coaching opportunity for you. Any other ideas on what a district though might help us lend some assistance in here in this category? One thing that a club that can meet only for 55 minutes can do from time to time, such as an open house, mm -hmm. is to organize your meeting so that it is 40 minutes and you have time to talk to your guests about what they want from Toastmasters. Another thing you can do, and what we've done, is we have cheat sheets for the roles, and so everybody will read the cheat sheet off, so it's like a mini reminder of what each rule does. Ask the club officers, especially the VPE, what they have as a mentor program. Mm -hmm. Mentor. That, in fact, that was one of my comments on almost all of my reports is to continue for the district at our TLIs and our informal events like that or other training events like this. Focus on effort on mentorship because that is a that is an opportunity that we can uh, really capitalize on in Toastmasters if we can line up mentors with new members or even existing members that have been members for a long time that are struggling with one speech or a, a book. Mentorship is a, is a key important part of our success, I think. So that was one of my comments that I said down in what can the district and I do as an area director focus more effort on mentorship and training on what mentorship is and coaching mentors to be better mentors. Any other ideas on that? And we're gonna to have to move on. Fellowship, uh, this, what kind of suggestions would you have? I'm not gonna go into the detail because we have five minutes left, but what kind of things would you think that a district or division director might need to hear 
from you as an area director for help and the fellowship area. Has, has anyone heard of one? Kyle, what's, what's, what, what's the best suggestion you heard in the last year on fellowship? Oh, wow. Or um, for what you need, what you need help with. Okay. Well, actually, I, I'm going to switch that. And one of the clubs that's doing something really well, Tacoma Early Birds does table topics. Every club does table topics. But they try to, they, every person who's not a speaker gets a chance to speak. They, they do it earlier, they do it early in the meeting. And, it, you know, every person who's not assigned a speaking role is involved, including all the guests. So, and, uh, and, it be, and they try to come up with, table topics questions that create opportunities for humor. So they start off their meeting with a lot of laughter and everybody speaking. Excellent. One club that meets at noon every once in a while, month or two, would go out to dinner together or one time to a comedy club together. Mm -hmm. Some sort of fellowship besides just their noon meeting. Yes. Um, just promoting communication within the club, assigning the Toastmaster as you're wrapping up and finishing for the next week, and then reminding the Toastmaster there to be connecting and set that expectation. And that creates that connection throughout the week because these busy professionals, if you can even find a Toastmaster or showing up on time to the meeting is sometimes the greatest challenge that week. So you're just now setting the tone for the organization in that meeting. And, and we're learning in my club that I'm just now and be my presidency with that having a well organized meeting is one of the greatest attractors to other business professionals that leads perfectly into the next box really because i think this part is the key to both the district director or area director's report and also successful clubs is that people join toastmasters to improve something they have a reason they're doing it the vehicle for achieving that is our meet the primary vehicle for achieving that is our meeting people are attracted to meetings that are well run that are fun that start and end on time i like to think of the area director's report as kind of a mini evaluation speech evaluation in a sense because we want to tell them the great things they're doing but we also need to maybe give some suggestions on where there's weak areas that could be improved. And that's that's the art of doing your area evaluation or your area director report is giving those suggestions in a way that will hopefully spur the club officers in a direction that will make them more successful in helping their 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 club members. That's really the art. So I think if I had to do one thing, if I had to really put all of my effort into one area of the report, I would personally put it in this area because this is what's going to make or break all the other areas for the club success is those club meetings because it's going to, it's a barometer of how well you're doing on membership dress, how well you're doing on greeting new members. Uh, all that is driven from here. Now you've done, I'm going to skip ahead. Can we skip to the end? Because we're down to two minutes, this last page is part that you can do ahead of time, again. And not only can you get input from the club, but you can go to TI, TI's website and you can find out who has earned their CC in the last, since the beginning of the year, since the beginning of the year. And you can actually put in there, oh, I see Kyle Hall and Mike Marion both earned their CC this time and you can be already ahead on that and then be asking when is Elizabeth going to get her CC I see you know you had her down last year <laughs> completing it but is she done this year you can be a little more informed yes Carol one thing especially for when we're beginning the year to encourage the clubs to work with their club success plan when I was the area director I sent the form out with the email saying I need to know as you go through your club success plan who can uh, great idea. These goals? Great. Get some periodic updates kind of thing so it's not all at one meeting. It's not all at one meeting, but it gets them thinking about, oh, club success plan. What do you mean by club success yeah. plan? Yeah, yeah, good point. And doing it at the very beginning of the year got them thinking about, the, you know, well, club success plan. Why do I need a club success plan? 
Well, part of your requirement for advanced leader bronze is to participate in your club success plan program. Yep. And tying that into your future recognition. There's a lot of data that I'll go ahead and Elizabeth. Oh, very short. And to add to that, another thing is to find out from them how are they tracking the goals. Yes. Yeah. If, you, if you're not tracking it, it's not <coughs> going to get in. Yes. The last couple comments on our area director's report. It is a great barometer or a great thermometer to check the health of how the clubs are doing. But it's also a great feedback for both the both the clubs and the and the district leadership on, on where we need to focus more effort. Or from your perspective, as a frontline person out there connecting with clubs, where should we put our limited resources? What's the most important thing to put our limited resources towards? You fill out your report before you click submit. You might even consider sending a draft report to back out to the clubs and say, Jenny, this is what I thought when I came to visit you and after I've looked at your input, what do you think? And Jenny then gives you some feedback and says, you know, I really think your idea about our education program sucks because I don't want to do it that way. And that one club did tell me that. <laughs> I said, you mean, I gave them, this is what you should do. You know? And they said, that's okay. I don't have all the answers, that, and I told them, that's great. You are on the right track. I think that would help, but it still went in my report. But they can accept or reject it. Thank you very much. Thank you.